Christmas life for me. Ahoy, me hearties! Welcome to another episode of the Modcraft. I found a village. I did. I found it. I bet you guys probably saw it last time, but I was too blind last time to see it. I was too distracted by this uh, wasteland and da -da 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 -da. we have a fortress. Just want to show you how it looks a little bit and how my plan is. I think I will have Billcraft powered machines on this side, meaning they are powered by uh, those engines. And I will have industrial craft stuff uh, machines on this side. And there's a torch missing uh, on this side. And in the middle, I will have machines that doesn't require power. Uh, so the crafting tables and there are, yeah, I think just stuff that is used in crafting that doesn't require uh, any kind of uh, energy. And I've been to the nether, if you can see over there in the distance, and there's a little portal. I went to grab some glowstone and stuff, uh, because I wanted uh, some of that for something we are going to craft today, which is really cool, and I'm looking forward to it. You can go up, and what is this? What is this? It's nothing like you've ever seen before. It's half blocks or micro blocks uh, added by red power. And it's really simple to get. You take this handsaw, can be used uh, with many materials, uh, and it's crafted just like this handsaw. As you see, diamond, iron, oh, uh, sapphire, ruby. So, yeah, a lot of different handsaws. Uh, and it's used like this. And you cut a block in half. You can cut it in half again. And again. And not anymore. But then you can cut it on the side. In the... In sideways to get these strips and stuff. Like just small, small, small blocks. And I think, actually, if I'm not lying, I think you can cut these to just get these dots. And they're awesome! Like, look! A little dot block! Is it not awesome? Where did it go? Is it here? Oh yeah. And I think you can craft them back together. Like so. So you can get your blocks back. And they're awesome. And I've used them to get this castle effect over here. And let's see what else. We can go up in every tower. I know a special block I will place in the middle here sometime. It's a Thomcraft block. But yeah, it will take a while for us to get that. So we will have ladders for now. And over here. We can go down. Da -da 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 -da. This will be our power room, uh, which we will have our power. And if we dig straight up here, we get to where we want our machines. So all power will be down here. And then we won't have to see it. And we will just have machines and machines, which is magically being powered. Mm, but there's something. This space lacks defense. We have this great three wide walls, impenetrable, but the front gate is open. It is open. So we're going to fix that. I think it's this one. Yes! This sentry turrets, obsidian, iron, and redstone, and I'm gonna grab two of those. And we're just going to place them. That's the wrong way. No hard I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We place them like so. 
and so. And we are now defended. Uh, hmm. I want to wait for night so I can show you how they work. But first of all, there are more crafting to be done. Let's grab this wrench. And I want better solar panels. I think I can put this flint back. So I'm gonna grab these. Nope. There, you saw it. It broke. It totally broke. Uh, so I'm going to need... You know what? I'm going to fix this generator. And I'll be right back. And so I've just fixed that solar panel. And that... Okay, we can place them here. We're going to place them in a furnace shape. And we're going to make this... Low voltage transformer. Uh, this is a block made to transform from a medium current to a low current or a voltage. And then we get this low voltage solar array. Now this is basically eight solar panels in one solar panel. So this is going to generate eight EUs per tick. Instead of having eight of them uh, producing one EU per tick per block. So let's restart this a little and it goes eight times faster than before. And this solar power, as you see, there's a low voltage and then the medium, which gets uh, 32 EU per tick. And then I don't know how much this gets us, but it's quite a lot more. So we are going to use solar panels as our main source of energy. Probably the only one as well. Now let's see. I want to make something more, of course. Building stuff, it's what we do. Can't get night. I want to trick mobs into getting here. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to grab up the materials we need for our next uh, project, for our ne next little machine, uh, which is super cool and you will love it as much as I will, because it's just awesome. So I'll be right back. So we are ready to craft our stuff and it's getting night, so let's do this quickly. We're going to make an advanced circuits which uses glowstone and lapis around an electronics uh, circuit and we're going to grab that and put it over a bat box surrounded by re refined iron glowstone below that to get the electric jetpack so we're going to charge that and we're going to make long fall boots so iron and do I have obsidian somewhere? No, so let's make it. I do think I have I think four will be what we need. So like so. So these boots um makes us never to take fall damage and we're going to need that so let's grab them i don't think they give any armor values but look at this i believe i can fly i believe i can touch the sky i believe every now and then spread your wings and fly away Come here, mobs. Come. Don't shoot me. Who said you could shoot me? Come here, zombies, zombies. Come, zombies, zombies. And skeleton. I can fly. You can't fly, but I can fly. Well, I want the zombie as well. Come here, zombie. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Hey! Why is it shooting me? It shouldn't be shooting me. Come here! Dive! Did it shoot me? It really is shooting me! Why? I made you! Well, that's it. That's it. You don't shoot your master unpunished. You die, and you die. <laughs> now, will you shoot me? Yes! Stop shooting me! See? No fall damage. Well, that's disappointing. I thought they wouldn't shoot me. I'll have to research that. To as why they shoot stuff. They didn't shoot me before. Hello. Hello. Nice to meeting you. I don't hate you. Oh, I'm Super Mario. Let's go to bed. Oh, hilarious. Now let's see, will you shoot me now? Yes. Well, I'll have to research what they shoot and don't shoot and why. Uh, and they are part of the portal gun mod. So I think we will hook this up like this. And we'll put the solar panels on the floor here. Like so. Yeah, it's kind of nice and hidden. We won't see it from here. And if we see them here, that kind of looks cool anyway. Yeah, I like it. And uh, that's good. Good, good, and we have the output here, so we can place machines like so. Uh, when we have those uh, IC2 machines, and this charges this guy, and I have this little cool thing there, and it charges pretty fast, fast enough, I would say. Because we won't be using it all the time. And then this walkway will just have to cut off and have stuff in there instead. Or machinery because uh, you can't hide them with covers. As you see this is the new block. We can't put uh, covers like on... Now I don't have anything to show you with, but you can't hide them inside a block, that, which you can with other stuff. So we will just have that there, and it will be nice and hidden, and when we we'll place a machine there, we won't see anything. And it charges up, and there's room for other stuff, and we will just leave it like that for now. Now... When it's come to the uh, power system of Bill Craft, uh, if we put this engine on and there's nowhere for the power to go, uh, it will still run. It will still function as an engine and produce energy that's going to waste. And possibly making the engine explode. And we don't want that, well, this engine doesn't explode at all, so we don't have that problem, but we don't want to waste energy. And so I think we will be using a system from, or we will use the pipes from a thermal expansion. Now let's see, do I have that induction smelter? And I made some marble, marble bricks because something they look really nice 
That's not the point though. Induction smelter. Ooh, this is fully powered, but what should you do? Place it correctly, maybe. Let's put that backpack on so we don't lose our power. Come on. Uh, pulverizer, induction furnace. Let's just shut off everything. And what do we want to do with this? Well, we want... And now I think I shouldn't have moved the pulverizer. Uh, whoops. Uh, con... We want hardened glass, so lead and pulverized obsidian. I think I have quite amount of lead, but I need to pulverize some obsidian. And this is a way more advanced uh, system or of uh, transferring power, because this is the only way to store uh, buildcraft energy. So let's just do that and put three there. And I'm going to make some obsidian and pulverize it. And once I've done that, I will be right back. So, skipping ahead a little, um, uh, this is what we got. We have two new machines, we'll talk about those in a minute. But we have the energy cell frame and the energy conduit, which is empty. Uh, the first thing we did was to pulverize the obsidian and mix it with lead in the induction smelter. Uh, nothing cool about that or fancy, just pretty simple stuff. Just smelt it together and you get hardened glass. Now the hardened glass is combined with the diamond and the electrum ingots. Uh, gained from blending silver dust and uh, gold dust or pulverized silver and pulverized gold and then smelt that uh, electrum uh, dust into ingots and then I did this crafting stuff to get an empty energy uh, cell frame and the uh, uh, conduits which is kind of the cables that uh, Transfer the energy. I used the hardened glass and surrounded it with electrum uh, as well. And this energy cell frame will become our battery, which means uh, the en engines won't have to be running all the time. And we can make a fancy pantsy system because uh, these are not smart. If you turn them on, they're on even if there's nowhere for the energy to go, like now. And this has power, this will go anyway, and we don't want that. We want it to only run where when there is somewhere for the energy to go. So that brings us to the different machines. We have the magma crucible uh, crafted like this, uh, thermal expansion as you can see, and the liquid transposer, also thermal expansion, crafted like this. Uh, these are thermal expansion stuff, of course. So we're just going to place them like this. The magma crucible here and the uh, liquid transposer. Now what we are going to do is melt redstone. We're going to make molten redstone. So I'm going to put the output to the right. That's good and the input to the left, and we're not going to have an output here. And we're going to grab a stack of redstone, see if we have anything here, nope. And we're going to start with the energy frame. So let's hook these, com uh, these up, because they need power to run. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's put some in here. So I'm in here to get the power up and running. 
oh yeah we have some power so if we put one in there and wait it requires 800 megajoule so let's see it should start now and there it goes it uh, melts the redstone and it will just hop up to the inventory here and we got a small part of a bucket now let's see how much do we need for that we need a full bucket so let's just throw some in there and I will let this run until there is uh, enough uh, redstone to fill this frame and once we have that I will be right back so it just got ready and it's starting to fill uh, the uh, the little box I think there's going to be a little bit left over so let's just add one and then we could actually oh there it is so it, you needed 40 redstone to fill this and you need two molten redstone for this if i'm not incorrect yep two for one of these uh, but now there is a final stage to all of this we need to create a redstone conductance coil not the uh, with the gold that we've been using before uh, one of those and like so and two lead to get the redstone energy cell and one of the even cooler thing with this is if you put it down and it has energy in it and you pick it up by shift right clicking with the build craft wrench or crescent hammer it will still have all its power left so you have kind of portable energy and we are going to use it as portable energy as well so I think that would make 32 so I'm just gonna throw this in here and let it run these are ready to use as they are coming out from the machine and uh, they look pretty cool and they have a mode where you can extract or pull put in or put out so output and input options on these uh, if they are wrong uh, the system won't work but uh, this is a pretty good point to say goodbye and I will see you. Oh yeah, something that I forgot. Uh, the sentry guys, uh, they attack everyone uh, they can see. So, and there's no way to change that. Uh, they will just attack anything that they see. Uh, don't think they will attack passive mobs like cows and stuff. Give me that. Let's see. <laughs> they will kill passive mobs, so they will kill everything they can find. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you. Hello next time. Where we will build this system. So look forward to it.